basically what I want to address is how men are being falsely accused, okay? I understand there's women out there that are raped, so nobody can tell me that as a woman, I don't know, I don't, you know, nobody can fight me about that. They can try, but it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But when men are falsely accused of stuff, and it could be after years later, it could be a woman's just spiteful about something. I've had this happen to more than one male family member. Okay. And I believe that people don't realize how serious this is until it happens to you. It could be your your cousin, it could be your brother, it could be your uh, nephews, it could be your dad, it could be your husband, it could be any male that you love, son, did I say son? Um, All right, so since we and so since we talking like a lot, since we talking like in general, give give we can a, talk in g- general. I have so a few cases. Give give people a, wanted to share. Give give a light of actually what we're actually talking about. Okay, so what we're talking about is women getting angry and going and accusing men of stuff out of spite, and then the men do not have a voice. And it costs. It can cost anywhere from fifteen thousand to yeah. Um, I'm might be being recorded in a minute, so if you can kind of here, go outside. Sorry, I got to put my dog outside. Oh, so no, basically, no, you, it can you, cost, you good. It, you, you good. Just just keep just keep on with it. Okay, so men, it can cost them anywhere from fifteen thousand if they're lucky. In an area, oh, to a woman telling me eighty thousand was the most to start because her son was seventeen, and at the time these girls sent Snapchat pictures and they were sixteen, and then he had turned eighteen, and a month later he was arrested. Um, you know, and then there's all these stories, people that I reached out to in a group on Facebook, telling them I wanted to tell my story. Yeah, or right. tell their stories because right. I can't tell mine what's going on in my family. It's an open court case. All right. So, wow. So, I mean, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I follow uh, some stories like this. Um, there's been a lot yeah. of cases of females just being spiteful. Like the one guy, you know, the female said. And men cannot defend themselves. Right. They can't do anything once they're accused. They can be charged based off of those accusations. All they have to do is walk in and say, oh, yeah, you know, he did this and that to me. And then he is guilty till proven innocent. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But this is something I feel very strongly about. And it's not going to work on my channel because I I just it's not going to work. So Um, I I might have to start a new one. I mean, I've seen cases where. Uh, where females would literally come and 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 lie about the situation, and the mm-hmm. men the the men in that situation, you know, sometimes are forced into taking plea bargains that's not in their best interest because they the the, the maybe the 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 attorney that was given to them is overworked or they couldn't afford an attorney or anything like that. Yeah. They can't afford an attorney because they're so expensive. And then it's, you're not going to find pro bono most likely for a rape or sexual assault or, you know, some kind of case like that. Like I could give you a little bit of what I'm going through, but it is an open court case. So I have to be super careful. We have a lawyer right now. I wouldn't want to talk about it, but I can give you an idea of what I'm going through, if if that would help. Go ahead. And this is why I wanted to find other people and help them, because it's absolutely ridiculous, and I never would have thought in all my years people could be so spiteful. All right, so without, uh, we we, we won't use none of that, what you just said. Uh, We'll just. Yeah, I can't. We'll we'll just. uh, We'll just generalize. We'll, we'll just generalize and and stuff like that. So continuing forward, like the general topic of yeah, yeah, you know, of men being, being falsely being a, accused of rape. Right. So there was a situation. Yeah. There there was a situation of of a young of a young man driver uh, 
he was accused uh this was like a couple of years ago he he kind of he kind of reached out to me because i caught the story from cdl life and cdl yeah. life and transportation nation both ran the story about about him getting hemmed up by a female that he picked up and come yep. to, and come to find out everything everything that was everything that was said about him was totally false and he had to go through he literally had to go through hoops like had to pay a lot of money for a lawyer and then he had to go you know he had to go around after he got you know after he got um what do you call it uh uh arrested was, or well, charged? No, he was he was proven not guilty you know at first he okay. was proven at first he was but proven did he go guilty, to jail but, first yeah he went he went to jail to my understanding but he was proven not guilty by the lawyer because he was still in jail and his lawyer mm -hmm. was out doing the doing the thing to clear his name so once his name yeah. got cleared he had to go around you know he had to go around the circuit had to go around to all of the places that that made the report and try to get his name cleared and it was kind of hard which because is every, hard. which which you're right because it, when it's on the internet it's out there so it's like when they yep. type when they type his name and they in, don't let it go right when they, they don't let it go right when they type his name in his name will pop up like okay well here's this truck driver that was accused of of rape and yada 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 yep. and here he is trying to be like no she lied on me you know so females is is vindictive like that and i you know i well, get, I, we live in to a lot of men though yeah. right but this happens to a lot of men but it's a, like it's always a, a it's of, always held against them even right. when they're proven innocent right and, and that's still not gotta, fair and, and, and you can't get it fight. out of the news they they still yep. got it they still and you're lucky fight. If you get it off of yep and and it's like uh it's like up here we have in wisconsin we have wisconsin search court access where they can look up your name you got to get it removed from there mm -hmm. you more than likely can but the news station we're lucky enough that our lawyer works with the news station i haven't told them any details on by the way i just gave them a general overview so right. um anyways so yeah like so, so would you so would you start it what you started was something uh you started what a facebook group or something like that for you know men that was falsely accused what, i found one you found one okay i found one all right so luckily so there's, there's barely so there's anything face, out there so there's a facebook group with with uh with mm -hmm. men with men in there that got that that that's going through the same uh issues as being falsely accused by vindictive women what were some of the stories and women defending their, their the men they love like their sons this woman is defending her son um they're you know defending and then you know it's for anyone who's falsely accused but i focus on the men because i'm going to be honest with you as a woman i've been raped and i never went after my accuser accuser how do you think that makes a woman feel when she's had something like that happen to her and then women can just go around falsely accusing and you know there's women out there who have really been raped so and they don't what, they don't get that justice what was what was some of the stories that you came across in the facebook group i came across um i asked people to message me and i don't know why a lot of them didn't but one woman did the one i told you about her son being 16 she, and, or he was 17 about to be 18 some mm -hmm. 16 year old girls when he was 17 send the pictures mm -hmm. a month later when he turned 18 the it was a federal thing because mm -hmm. they said it was child pornography right right and right. they investigated it so the mother believes that she so a girl actually set him her up. family had connections with the feds yeah and set him up because he didn't want nothing to do with them girls i've also had i can talk about another family member just in general what well, you know it was what? my let's, cousin let's, but I let's, won't. let's 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 back it up a little bit okay. uh, to concentrate on okay. on the 17 year old at the time and this and the this main is, thing here yeah go and, ahead sorry and, and uh, this is and this is something that young men needs to understand you know and be careful about when you know messing with a with, with a young female that's you know that's under the age of 15 say like 16 it's or happened 17. to my cousin 
well, that too. And just in general, my cousin, he's a taller man. I don't know if he's attractive, but girls tend to think he is. I think he's ugly because he's my cousin. But, um, you know, but, um, <laughs> but they tend to think that he's an attractive man. And he's on multiple occasions had girls say, because, because he didn't want to sleep with them and they were offended or because he wouldn't um, go out with them when we were younger. They tried and he was on probation, got in some trouble at one point and luckily he had a, another girl that was there that was like, he didn't do it. She's just, you know, falsely accusing, like she's jealous. And then another time it was, uh, he was married and a woman, you know, got upset because it was New Year's and he was, his friend was drunk and he came down there to play games and she just so happened to be there and she wanted to flash him and he said, no, 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 I don't want to see your tits. And, you know, he gets pretty belligerent about stuff. So she got mad, was like, well, I'm going to call the cops and say, I'm going to, you know, that you tried to rape me. And he was like, man, you got to be kidding me, you know? So she called the cops and when the cops got there, she eventually admitted that she was lying. Like, you know so, what? It's, it's kind of hard. Had she not, you would have gone to jail. It's it's kind of hard to, I, you know, and it's it's crazy that it is that when some, when women say the, the, the rape word, it's like, yeah. it's like an auto, it's, it's like an automatic arrest. And from there, from there, you got to go on a, on a whole crusade exactly. to clear your name. From from right when she exactly. said exactly, and it and it could be done exactly. It could be done like if she's jealous, if she's trying to uh -huh. trying to manipulate you. You know, let's say y'all get back let, at let, you let's because say, you let, broke. Yeah, let's say y'all yeah. did the do. Y'all was. Always wanted to be famous